Hi, this is Treasure Goddess Christine, and I wanted to share a few tips as we knit along on our knit along for the Ocean and the Moonlight shawl. Uh, this is actually on DK weight yarn. It's a little thicker, but it makes it easier to see. It's also a little bitty swatch as opposed to your whole shawl. But okay, so one thing that can be a little bit intimidating is the lace pattern. It's a very simple pattern if you follow along. It's 13 stitches of a repeat, on, and again, on this sample, I only have one across, but you will have multiple as you go. So your repeat is 13 stitches across and 28 rows up. So you actually have two little triangles with the little lace in there um, in one pattern repeat. So um, you work this along and as you're going, you've got your little triangle. The, um, it's 13 stitches, so the seventh, the seventh stitch is the center of 13. So that should be on your pattern this little guy right in the middle, this whole row of stitches should always be on. That way you can tell if you're on track as you're going across, your center spire is gonna be there. It's also gonna be there on the second time, the upper part of that same pattern repeat. So that same stitch, that same column, it's a little bit wonky because it hasn't been blocked here, but that same column is gonna go up for the first triangle through the second triangle and on up and up and up into um, the edges of your shawl. That way as you're working along, you can tell if you're on track or not. So one thing that a few people have asked is how do I know where to insert the pattern on each side of it? When we expand and we start with just the few and then every uh, pattern repeat, every 28 rows, you've increased 14 stitches on each side. Well, that pattern repeat is 13 stitches, so there's room for it, but how do we know where to start? The directions say to count over 13 rows from the edge of the lace and that's where you start. That makes perfect sense, but it can also be a little intimidating. I mean, you've got all these holes and wiggles and how do you track exactly where that was? Well, part of it is you remember that center stitch here. That center stitch is stitch number seven. So you know you can count back seven. So that would be stitch six, five, four, three, two, one. That means this is the next 13 stitches would be your next insert. If we've done it right, you should have your two edge stitches, one extra stitch, and that's where you'll start your 13 stitches. So let's see if my sample is right or not. So I counted over. Okay, so here's my, my most far to the right uh, little triangle repeat, and I wanna see again, there's my center stitch going all the way up. That's stitch number seven of this 13 uh, stitch repeat. So that's stitch seven. I better make sure, looking through it there. Okay, so that's my seventh seven. seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So this is the start of my original existing lace. And if I trail that on down, that's right because you can see the first little yarn over is right below that, just one stitch over. Okay, so I wanna count 13 stitches before this to start my next insert of my of my pattern repeat. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I've got my two edge stitches, I've got that extra stitch because we actually have created 14 stitches on these 28 rows, and then I start my lace pattern here. So I can go ahead and just start that to kind of give you guys an idea. And then you're gonna do this. So um, actually, let me before I start knitting on there, let me show you something. So these 13 stitches here are gonna become a new insert of the pattern repeat. There's my existing one. And then 13 stitches after that, I'll continue on and do another repeat. So again, there was my uh, center stitch. So that would be stitch seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. That should be the edge. And there it is of the end of that little triangle of lace pattern. So I should have room for another, I should have 14 stitches over here if we've done it right, correct? Because I should have the 13 insert plus that extra stitch because we increased four, we created 14 stitches on each side in the 28 rows. So let's just check. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and I've got 14 stitches. So my, my pattern, my lace pattern will end here for this first row. I have this extra stitch and then I'll do my yarn over, center stitch, yarn over, knit that first stitch, knit, start a new lace pattern here, the repeat, my 13 stitches of the new started repeat, my existing repeat will be here, and then I'll have room for one more over here. And so from here, it grows and goes and grows and goes. So let's just kind of start in on this row to, to make sure what's going on here. Okay, so my pattern tells me to knit, hello, knit my first two stitches, one, 
to, and you always have the yarn over. Um, and you'll notice that I don't use my my two edge stitch markers. I don't know why it always gets in my way. I always remember two stitches yarn over for the edging. I've got that one stitch that's going to stay because that's the extra stuck in stock in that stitch. It's not part of our pattern repeat. Now the next 13, I'm going to do the pattern. So it tells me to knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over. So I always, I don't know if you guys have little um, things you remember as you go. So there's knit two together, yarn over, uh, knit two together. I'm trying to knit through the camera is a little difficult. Yarn over, knit two together, yarn over. So let's make sure I got my two edge stitches. The original yarn over um, for the edge stitching, the stitch that's before the lace pattern, here's the start of my lace pattern. That's what I've got. Knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, my yarn over, and then it tells me to knit one. And on the pattern on the other side, I'm going to do yarn over, slip, slip, knit, and do that three times. So I got yarn over, slip, slip, knit, ah. there you go, yarn over, slip, slip, knit, and yarn over, slip, slip, knit. And that should be the end of my first 13. I go right into the next 13. So it tells me knit two together. We're gonna repeat the first part again. So three of these, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, and it tells me I should be at my center stitch. So I should knit one, and hey, look at that. There's my knit one. If I pull back and look at my knitting, always stop and look at your knitting, when, especially with lace. That is, it's kind of wonky right now because I'm in the middle. That is my knit one stitch in the center. It's going all the way down through the center of the triangle down below it and through the center of that triangle. So I'm right on track. So this is my existing ones that I had before. So that's my knit one in the middle, and I'm going to do the other side. Yarn over, slip, slip, knit. Yarn over, slip, slip, knit. Come on. And I apologize, every dog in my neighborhood is barking as soon as I turn on the video camera. Yeah, high quality entertainment at Treasure Goddess Yarn Studio. Slip, slip, and knit. I don't know if I can knit and talk at the same time, so I better count just to make sure. There's my center stitch. There's my yarn over slip slip knit, yarn over SSK, yarn over SSK. That's the end of my next one. Now, again, I have this new area that needs and wants a lace repeat. So there's another room for that. So this is going to be, we're on row one of our second repeat. So same thing, do it again. Okay, so start with knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over. And again, I can't count and talk and fill them at the same time. Okay, there was my start is here. Knit together, yarn over, knit together, yarn over, knit two together, yarn over. Here is my center stitch, which I am creating for the first time on this one because it doesn't exist before. And we're going to go yarn over SSK, yarn over SSK, yarn over SSK. So yarn over, whoops, S, S, K. And everybody does slip, slip knits a little bit different. Do whatever, okay, yarn over, slip, slip knit. Do, do whatever you like to do, just do it consistent, especially in lace, okay? Knit, slip, slip, knit, yarn over, slip, slip, knit. And that is the end of my repeat. I have one stitch left. And then suddenly I am at the center stitch. So what do we do at the center stitch? We yarn over, slip the marker, come up here. And hello, sorry, knit one, move my stitch marker, and we yarn over. And we're gonna do the same thing again. I have that one stitch that's outside of everything. Then I will start my 13 stitches of the next repeat. Then it will get them the existing repeats. And then at the end, I will have one more and I should end with one more stitch, my yarn over and my two end stitches. So I hope this kind of clears things up. And remember to always check that center spire is going straight through 
all of your triangles and then you are right on track. So every time, every uh, right side row, you can track and make sure you're in track and that you're ready to go. Next time I'll do how to, I'll show how to put in a, a lifeline so that if you mess up, you can rip back to the line, slip it back on your needles and make lace knitting much easier. Okay. Hope you guys are enjoying the knit along. I'm having a great time. My own shawl is not quite to the lace part, so I've got to get cracking and um, hope to see you guys on Instagram soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.